Oh, here comes rain. Oh no, here comes rain. Do I beat one? Are you gonna tell me the same thing? Oh, sorry, I did not mean to put the camera there. Encampments built on claim trees can be transferred to other servers. Yes, that's what I was talking about. So you can do that. That is very cool. Move over, Power World. We have a new cozy survival game. This is Small Land Survive the Wilds. The full release is here, and this is a survival game. It has crafting, resource gathering. There is multiplayer, so you can play with your friends. It is on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, I believe. But the twist with this game is you are a tiny bug creature living amongst other bugs, some friendly, some not so much, and you get to catch and tame these creatures. You can battle them if you desire, and you get to create your own treehouse and learn to survive and uncover the story. And as always, as we try this today, we are going at it from a cozy perspective. I'm going to change the settings if I can, and try to make this as relaxing and calming as possible. So let's take a first look at Small Land. And we begin with character customization. Wow, there are a lot of options. Let's start with our body type here. Female Reuben. I mean, if I ate a Reuben, that's kind of what I look like. I mean, that kind of is what I look like. We'll go with that one. We get to choose an antenna. First the type and then it looks like the color. Oh, I think I like that one. Ooh, I don't know. I like that one too. I can't pick. Ooh, the ghostly. I like the ghostly skin. Face markings, vigorous, righteous, diffident. I'm gonna go with none. I'm gonna be boring. So we have our character customized. We're going with kind of a blue color palette. We can't change our clothes just yet, but I think we are ready. We're going to confirm this. Now we have our settings and I'm guessing this is where we can make it cozy. Disable building weather deterioration. Yes, we're going to turn all these first options on. I think that will make it as cozy as possible. You can choose your day cycle. I don't really know any better. I'm going to leave that as default. The same with the season cycle. I don't know if this is damage that creatures give to me or damage I give to them. We're going to leave that as default for now. Nourishment loss multiplayer. Let's decrease that. I'm guessing this will affect how quickly I become hungry. Don't really want a lot of fall damage. Let's decrease that. You can only decrease it to 50%. Let's put that all the way down. And I think that's probably as cozy as we can make our settings. We are going to go ahead and start. Years have passed since the small folk took sanctuary in the burrows, seeking refuge from the dangers above. Emerging now, they strive to reclaim the overland, a perilous realm where death lurks around every corner. The vanguards, intrepid pioneers of the small folk, are sent forth to establish the first settlements in this treacherous land. As a rookie vanguard, your initiation takes an unexpected turn when your party is attacked by a giant hornet. My first impressions of the graphics, this reminds me a little bit of Grounded. Many of you might be familiar with that game. I stopped playing Grounded because it just got too difficult and I was playing solo. So I'm hoping that this game, solo, is relatively easy in comparison. But the light, this is a very cozy, warm aesthetic. I love this. Let's go and talk with this young lad down here. Hildred. Well, that was unpleasant. What was that thing that attacked us? It was a hornet, though I've never seen one so aggressive. Are you injured? I'll be fine, Rookie. I just need to rest for a while. 
All right. Is there anything I can do? I fear with injuries like these, I'm not going anywhere for a while. You will have to make a report to Captain Hearn in my stead. Understood. Is the captain still in the burrows? He must be in the overland by now, but he's probably set up camp outside the burrows entrance. You'll have to make your way northwest from here, following the river. Confirmed. I will set out immediately. Northwest, camp outside the burrows. Hold on just a minute, rookie. It's a long trek back to the burrows entrance, and you're not going to get far without some preparation. If you want to survive on your own out here, you'll need to understand the basics of resource gathering, food preparation, and setting up an encampment. Where can I find resources? Yes, I want to know. I don't know anything about this. The overland is ripe with resources if you know where to look. You'll need to know how to exploit them if you were to manage out here. Some resources you can simply gather by hand, but most need to be harvested with a tool. To use your antenna sense, press left button. This will highlight resources. Let's see if we can find some resources and then come back. We were supposed to go northwest, but I'm thinking we need to go find resources. Is that a dead bug? Is this the giant hornet that attacked us? This is so beautiful out here. All right, antenna sense. That was my left button. Look, it highlights what I can harvest. That must use energy, right? Then I could harvest this. Gather, I did. What is that? Gather. This is, oh, it's resin. We have an inventory and a fire arrow. Wait a minute. Let's take a look. Okay. Menu time. We have an inventory full of various items. Let's see. We've got a wood club, a bandage, a mushroom steak. Ah, if it's green, we have equipped it. I get it. We've got some fiber and then some resin. And then we have a crafting menu. Ah, so if we want to craft a hatchet, we need to get some wood. I think we have a club already. You can make a builder's hammer, a torch. We need wood for almost everything. Firefly juice, insect fat. Why? Oh, this is our map. So we spawned right by Hildred. Hildred is hurt. We were supposed to go northwest. Must be to this person. Hearn? Is that how you say it? This looks like a tutorial for various things in the game. And then we have a codex. Items we have unlocked or found, maybe. All right, well, we definitely need to get some more resources. It's so dark, I would love a torch. Found some wood. So first you get the big item and then you have to pick up the smaller items. That's interesting. A pet whistle. We have some more fiber. We have resin, wood, and fiber, and oh gosh, there's some more wood. I'm guessing if I didn't have cozy mode on, these bugs would be attacking us. And I'd have to use my wooden club. How do I use my club? Do I have to go in my inventory? Oop, that's the wrong button. What if we take our club and put it in our hand? Can we do that? You can. So that's how I would attack a bug. Interesting. We'll gather some more wood. This is like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Most of you are too young to know that movie. <laughs> I do notice some graphic hitching. I have the frame rate capped at 60. And we are on 
not even the highest graphics. That's interesting. And my computer is fairly beefy, so hmm. I don't know if it's my computer or game optimization. We have some ladybugs in front of us. Do I beat one? I'm tempted. I'm tempted to try it. We're going to try it. We just ran. I was curious how easily they would be killed and we got insect fat. So in order to get insect fat, I do believe you have to attack the bugs. I don't think we can live in complete harmony with them. Let's go back to Hildred and say that we have found some resources. Good work, rookie. What do you want to learn about next? Where can I find food? There are some edible berries up here, but for the most part, you'll need to prepare your food from resources you gather from plants and slain creatures. Oh, once I have resources for a meal, how can I prepare them? Use a campfire with wood and resin and your builder's hammer. You can build a campfire and cook yourself a meal. Equip the hammer and access the structures menu to build a campfire. How can I tend to my injuries? Well, I have a bandage. Yes, I want to know how do I build my treehouse. To build anything, you first need to get a builder's hammer. Using fiber and wood, I can craft one. All right. So what do I do once I have the builder's hammer? Place a few foundations, walls, and a roof. Sounds like Pal World. Remember that anything not covered by a roof could deteriorate over time. I think I have that turned off. You also won't be sheltered from storms. Well, that's a good point. Wait, there are storms? When you're done, put down a bed and a workbench. So typical survival game mechanics, it looks like. He's telling us to follow the river northwest and report to Hearn at the burrow's entrance. It's marked on our map. Northwest and... If you don't know which way Northwest is, there's a compass at the top of the screen. I say let's get as far as we can while it is daylight. Gathering resources along the way. Wait a minute, we got another resource. Now something I read about this game, and I cannot verify it because I don't have any friends playing this, but I read that if you join a friend's world, you bring your own tree house into their world. And then if you want to leave again, you take that tree house with you. And if that's true, that is just amazing. Can you imagine playing Pal World like that? If you were to join a friend, you could take your base with you. I've never heard of a game like that. Maybe that's pretty normal and I'm just living in a different decade but it sounds really cool I hear a bug I hear wings oh my gosh there's a frog over there he could definitely eat me what the heck is that that scared me <laughs> an owl statue it's an effigy it's a lift monk effigy in owl form Open the map and see your position on the overland. The map will show you the location of other vanguards, other players, I assume, your spawn location, your gravestones, and any custom markers you add. By selecting a marker, you can make it appear on the compass at the top of your screen. All right, I think we did that. Right? Yes, we had that selected. So are those owls like... Little tutorial tips? I think they are. I just want to look at the water. Can we walk in the water? And jump on lily pads? I think we probably ought to stay on the path. Can we see? Does this path... We can't see where the path goes. Hmm. We were told to follow the river. We need to be on this side of the river. So, I guess let's... Try to do that. Oh, here comes rain. 
Oh no, here comes rain. <laughs> it sounds angry. Let's see if we can craft a torch. We did it. Do we have to go in our inventory and put it in our other hand? I can have a torch and a club. Look at this. There's a ladybug. I don't really want to kill any more bugs unless I have to. Can you imagine this on the mode where all these bugs attack you? Let's check this effigy out. Examine. Creatures, temperatures, and falling or being malnourished. Oh, that's right. I need to eat. <gasps> Forgot about that. Wait a minute. I had something. I had... Can I eat this? Yes, I did. Oh. They actually were quite nourishing. What else can we find to eat? Because I don't think we can make it to our friend on one mushroom steak left. Oh wait, I can do that? Look at that. What else can we do? Jump. Roll. Is that a sprint? I think... That is definitely a sprint button. Down stick. And then we have on our left button. I love that. I don't know how you recharge it, but that's really cool. And that is crouch. Right. If you die, you drop everything in your inventory. If you don't have it on cozy mode, which we do, you can retrieve your belongings if you make it back to your tombstone. So for those of you who don't want to play this on cozy mode, that's what you can do. Oh, that's a berry. I thought it was feces. I thought it was poop. That is a berry. Here's a question. Can we put the food on our toolbar? I bet we can. Yes. Oh, look at the river. There are five distinct weapon types that your vanguard can wield. Blunt, edged, piercing, poison, and fire. The creatures you encounter have different strengths and weaknesses when it comes to each. Pay attention to the icon next to their health bar and that determines what weapon type will be more effective so it's kind of like the element in pal world you know grass fire water electric interesting am i going the right way yes we are Take some more wood. What do you think will happen if I bash this ant? Okay. He may have hurt me a bit. We got an ant head trophy. And bug lymph. I didn't pay attention to my health. I'll have to look back on the recording. Did that hurt me? A world event is about to begin. What is that? What is a world event? Equipment deteriorates with use and will progressively lose its effectiveness. Make sure you keep your equipment in good order by repairing it. You can repair it at a workbench. I don't even have a house yet, but okay. What do we think the world event is? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Do you see those? Those are hornets, right? Are they gonna come at me? Um. I don't think I can go that way. There's rocks down there, right? Oh, well, we're kind of committed now. I don't think I should go in the water. And, oh, I can climb that. I think we're going to have to go this way. Let's just run and hope for the best. 
cozy mode. This is cozy mode, just passing through. Armor provides protection against different types of damage and can keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the overland have the expertise to make new sets of armor for you, provided you give them the required materials. So we have to find settlers that can make us armor. Okay. Let's see, what can we harvest? Oh, that's a mauve plant. Do you think we can get that? Maybe you need a crude hatchet or better. Well, let's take a look. That is a wood hatchet. Let's craft that. We need more wood to create any of the rest of the items. All right. Well, let's see if we can equip our new hatchet. Oh, our torch. Okay. Um, I don't know how to turn the torch off other than take it out of our hand. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll put the axe in here. It's our hatchet, right? I don't think this is the right hatchet. Yeah, we're not doing anything to it. And we'll check the effigy. Make sure to eat and drink. Drink? What are we supposed to drink? Being nourished will make you more resilient and energetic as well as stronger in combat. Delicious berries are in the forest, hunt creatures, or even cook your own meals. You can eat food raw or prepare it and other consumables using different types of cooking stations for a wide range of benefits. Keep an eye out for tasty recipes. If you were afraid of bugs, I could see that this game could be difficult to be cozy. And I'm wondering, are there spiders in here? I'm sure there are spiders, right? Oh, well, that's a that's a big grasshopper. Okay. We have a sapling. We need a flint hatchet, which we don't have because we have not found flint. Wow, that was a big graphic hitch. Interesting. Okay, what is that down there? We're not here, are we? Oh, we are here. This is it. That didn't take that long. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know what. Oh, we got some fiber. Okay. This is who we're looking for. We found Hearn. Greetings, Vanguard. I am Captain Her Ernest, or is it a silent H? Ernest. Monokabi, oh my gosh, what a name. But you can just call me Hearn. What can I do for you? Captain, I'm reporting on behalf of my superior, Hildred. We were attacked by a frenzied hornet while patrolling the southern pond. Thank you, Vanguard. I'm afraid yours is but one of several such reports in the past few days. We've identified a few treetops that could serve as safer locations to establish encampments. Is this going to be our treehouse? Great tree encampment location added to your map. Players can move their buildings between claimed trees. Encampments built on claimed trees can be transferred to other servers. Yes, that's what I was talking about. So you can do that. That is very cool. Sorry, I got a little excited. <laughs> For now, please report to Elder Ludwig at the base of the hill. Let him know about this hornet attack. Seek Ludwig and report to him. Okay. The base of the hill. Can you craft some armor for me, Capitan? Sure, Vanguard, but you'll have to bring me all of the necessary materials. This protects from the cold. We probably want this, but we're not going to have enough for more than one. So which do we want? Let's go with the pants, the padded breeches. We're going to take them over here. Look at our new pants. Ludwig is... Oh, do you see over here on the map it says event? Maybe that's the world event. But we need to go and see the elder. And then we need to make our little tree house. Um, okay, fall damage is 
turned down but not off. Now here's something interesting. My heart is at 91. It was at 100. So did I lose health? I clearly did, but I don't know how. Was it the fall? We'll go ahead and gather more resin. We want to be able to make some torches. It is a bit strange that you basically have to harvest material twice, right? So you gather there, and then you have to pick it up. Is this his tree house? That, oh, you can switch from first person to third person. All I'm doing is pressing down on my right stick. I'm playing controller. No way. This is so cool. Okay, and here's something else I saw in the settings. Let's go in here and we're going to hide the HUD. Let's return to the game. <laughs> we're going to get a screenshot. See if we can use this for a thumbnail. Let's go in and see Ludwig after we see if we can pirate some of his resources outside of his home here. Can I take his little candles? I like these. They're little buds from a tree. Is this the kind of tree house I'm going to get? This is really neat. Some more resin. Listen to the sounds. It sounds like falling rock. Erist Ludwig, our elder. Steam achievement. Greetings, Vanguard. What are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. So a clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. Who is the apothecary? Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in the Overland. He would spend countless days searching the Overland for rare ingredients to use in his potions. Yeah, what's in the chest? The elixir of life. It would heal any ailment known to small folk. Do you have any idea who might have taken the key? The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. Hmm, so you're sus, Ludwig. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill and the clover key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago. So we have a thief among us. Have you tried forcing the chest? We dare not. It's heavily reinforced. We would risk destroying the elixir. Can't you just make more elixir? Oh, yes. We need to tell him about the hornet attack. Ah, yes. We've received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. So we have to be a bit of a detective? Hmm, does this have anything to do with the clover key? It's an interesting coincidence, but is it? Are coincidences coincidences? Not always. We have no evidence to suggest that there is a connection. So a missing key or something that heals anything. Agitated bugs. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I have marked their locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. Not on cozy mode. Hearn and Kalev can help you survive here in the overland. Okay, well, I shall leave now. Actually, that's a lie. I want to look in here. This is so cute. Look at the little laboratory. I'm sorry, but this is so stinking cute. I know. I'm weird. I'm gushing over this. Look at this. What 
is that? This isn't the chest, is it? This is a walnut chest. Let's examine it. It looks like a chest made out of a walnut. On the back, there are hinges. On the front, it has a strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Let's try to open it. It won't budge. Examine the cavity. You run your hand over the four-leaf clover. The bottom section moves slightly when you press it. Push the bottom of the cavity. Nothing happens. Okay. This must be the chest they're talking about, right? Hmm. Very peculiar. I like the aspect of a mystery. We're going to gather some fiber while we're in here, and we're going to go back into third-person mode. You have to let me know in the comments, do you prefer first-person or third-person mode in games? Almost all of the time, I prefer third-person. Because when you're in first-person, I just feel like I'm not getting the full experience. I just want to back up, you know, like this, so I can see where my character is. I guess that's just a weird personal preference. And wasn't there something we were supposed to do with making a house? That's what I want to do. Maybe that's a girl thing. I just want to nest and get my house all spiffy before I go talk with other people. <laughs> you know? Look at these guys. I love their armor. They got their little blackberries on the table ready for dinner. Their little mushroom table. It's so stinking cute. It reminds me of, like, playing dollhouse out in the woods. Yeah, I kind of did that at some point in my life. Many decades ago, don't worry, but it it just is a bit nostalgic. Let's talk to these guys. Sentinel Oliver. Captain Hearn is stationed up the hill. You should go and introduce yourself. I did. Are you going to tell me the same thing? Oh, sorry, I did not mean to put the camera there. I wish I wasn't on night watch duty. The Overland is a dangerous enough place during the day. I'm, I'm sorry, Arthur. I know your eyes are up there. Okay, up the hill. Up this hill? Yes, I do believe that's the way we came. Let's go into third person mode again. That's really cool that you can change it though. On the fly like that. I think we're supposed to go and talk with this guy. So if we go southwest, but then we have other people to talk to. But our closest one is southwest. I don't know where these tree camps are. That's what I want. Some creatures can be tamed using special treats. Be careful though. They'll only accept treats once they recognize you as their leader. Be sure to beat them into submission first. This sounds just like Pal World, except for we don't give them treats in Pal World. We just make them our slaves. Once tamed, a creature will be a faithful companion. Some will follow you and protect you. Some will even allow you to mount them. You can ride on them. You can heal a tamed creature with food. Drop food close to your companion and it will eat it to heal itself. We have to learn how to make these special treats. I think we can cross the river here. Look at the water. It is... Oh, oh, this probably isn't good. Okay, all right. So we can swim a bit. <laughs> what do we have here? A bottle cap? Apparently we can use that. How about these rocks? Can we take them? Needs a mandibular pickaxe or better. Do not have that, said mandibular pickaxe. Do I go this way? I kind of need to go to my right. And if you want to be even more immersed, you just turn it into first-person mode. It is just so relaxing and peaceful with these settings. I love it. I'm such a dork, I know. It doesn't take much to impress me. <laughs> 
And we got our special pants now. It keeps us all cozy. Hello, Mr. Ant. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Yes, we are. Can we harvest? Oh, wait a minute. Poisonous mushroom. I don't think we want that. We have a pop-up wheel? Wait a minute. Triumph. A map. So down on the D-pad, you got your map. You can wave. These are emotes. <laughs> but what I don't know is how do I apply my berry? I think I might have to go into my inventory. We're just going to keep eating some blackberries, but they are only adding 10 to our hunger every time, or detracting 10. So we're going to have to eat a lot. Let's follow this in here. I think this is the right way to go. We need to find some more food. I have not seen many blackberries and we are starting to get hungry. Wait a minute, speaking of food. Oh, oh my gosh, he was so camouflaged. I did not see him at first. Can we eat his food? Please, sir, do you have a mushroom to spare? Hello, Vanguard, I am Corporal Kalev Stein. What are you doing here? I am responsible for escorting and protecting small folk miners. What's that armor you're wearing? It's one I made myself using rocks I found in the mine. It's incredibly durable and provides great protection against the creatures you may encounter in the shore. Speaking of which, Scotty has also fashioned some remarkable armor using resources from that area. Can you make one for me too? Oh, you can, but I don't have any stone. I think we need to make a trip into the mine. What happened here? Why is no one working in the mine? It was a tragedy. One of the tunnels collapsed and most of the miners perished. The mining operations are on hold for now. What? Can I harvest these stones? Sure, you'll need a pickaxe. You see, some of these ants, the red ones, have surprisingly strong mandibles. If you can get one of those, you can bring it to a workbench and try to make yourself a pickaxe from it. Oh, okay, that's not cozy. Where should I look for the red ants? They're in and around this entire forest, but after we shut down the mining operations, some of them moved into the lower portion of the mine, just north from here. Be careful though, there might be more in there than you can handle. Oh dear. To work stone, you'll need to build a cutter grinder. We don't have the resources to make a proper one up here, but you may be able to create a makeshift cutter grinder using some of the giant's artifacts, like bottle caps and screws. Hmm. So we can use screws and bottle caps. I have not found screws yet. Where can I find those? Sandy Shores screws near the giant's artifacts. The giants? Are giants humans? Human artifacts? Who are these people? Wounded miners. One moment I was digging, the next I found myself buried under dirt and stone. Rock and stone. This must be the mine entrance, right? It's not marked on the map. Yeah, I don't think we're getting in there. One thing that I would find helpful is if there were quests pinned on the top of my screen. I kind of like when games do that. I guess this is more immersive and, you know, it makes you work. A storm approaches, seek shelter. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, they weren't kidding. Um, okay. So we have storm events. I'm going to go and borrow this guy's shelter and wait it out since I don't have my own. I'm hoping this is ample. I'm hoping he'll share the mushroom. Oh, he has an anvil. Do you hear the music changing? Let's go into first-person mode for this. 
While we are weathering out this torrential downpour, let me just share my first impressions of Small Land Survive the Wilds. I think it's totally immersive. I love the idea of the story. I love these weather events. And I appreciate that there are world settings that I can make it cozy. Oh my gosh, I think the storm is ending. Um, the clouds disperse. We have weathered the storm. I am excited about the treehouse idea and that I could take it to a friend's world if I wanted to. I do wish that it did have some more clear quests because I feel like I need a little bit more direction, but that could just be me. And I am having a bit of issues with the game performance, and I typically don't have that with my computer, but it could be my computer. Overall, I think it's a very good sign that an hour has elapsed and I want to keep going and it seemed to go so quickly. I am very excited to continue playing Small Land Survive the Wilds. Let me know in the comments, have you played this? Do you think you want to play it? And what are your first impressions of this game? We are going to have to continue this another time and find out if I get a treehouse and if I begin to solve the mysteries that lie in this game. If you like Small Land and other relaxing sim and survival games, please consider subscribing. And if you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment down below, and I will see you next time.